And now for something completely different. Doki. So we need to have a meaningful conversation. That is what is intended of us. <laughs> okay, what do we have to talk about? Uh, basically, just what are the similarities and differences between the values of the, uh, indigenous peoples and the, uh, colonists? That sounds good. So, who wants to go first? <laughs> Alright, I guess I will go first. <laughs> <laughs> um so from the two stories that Allison and I read and we should have the same thing on our charts unless, you know, we don't. Um some of the character traits I'm trying not to sneeze, hold on. Some of the character eh no some of the character traits that they the uh Iroquois seem to value is uh definitely a sense of morality but also perseverance and dedication to your purpose um definitely knowing one's role and to a degree obedience and certainly embracing the world nature and the present around you Hmm. So what are the desired character traits of a um of a colonist based on the thingy based on the uh chart for the first story? Um the colonists really were just trying to explore and see what was out there. Some had different desires. Uh some looking for gold, some looking to build and uh live there um of course that didn't go so well and uh they resorted to cannibalism so that's fun oh did they now yeah that's actually new to me i didn't know that some eight people I only don't... some though i don't like your enthusiasm with that statement but <laughs> so... only some <laughs> so where what exactly so I guess just being adventurous would be one of their character traits. Yeah, I would say so. I, uh, adventurous. They um, like to taste new meat. Yeah, apparent, <laughs> yeah, apparently they they have a will to live. Um. Oh, they definitely do. They do anything to survive. They drink like dirty creek water. That's 30, fantastic. 30 water for... um, yeah, they yeah. might not have known to take rainwater instead. Probably not, considering that they already came from like a privileged, civilized sort of area. So they probably yeah. wouldn't know how to do all of that stuff. Whereas, like the indigenous tribes would just be like, "Oh, I do that," you know, every day. Exactly. But nevertheless, they still enjoy adventuring and at some points conquering uh, <laughs> other civilizations because God save the queen. Exactly. All right. Um, so on. He said. You said God save the queen, right? Yes, I did, but they are technically trying to escape. I've realized... No, 
No, that's not what I was pointing out. I just noticed that, like, uh, Native Americans were more spiritually... Yes, they were... Uh... Cer- <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, They were definitely like... more mystical, but at the same time, the colonists were very Christian. Yeah, they built a church. I guess... Yeah, I guess that technically is what Native Americans believed in is a religion, I guess. Well, I think one similarity, I I guess like a difference between it all is that the colonists basically all had one unified religion to a degree. Whereas like, I'm pretty sure the natives each had like their own quote unquote religious beliefs based on the tribe yeah because all of them was like every story was always left up to interpretation it wasn't like yeah, you know the bible story, words everything set in story, stone each story is definitely different but like they all had like the basic complexes of like pagan spirituality as opposed to the uh monotheistic uh studies of the incoming colonists yeah so, on your end, Nick, because I don't have your chart, does the next column say something details about creation or nature? I don't think so. I believe it was... Um, hold on, I have to find the chart. Um, you didn't come prepared, Nick? I have the chart filled out. I just need to... Uh, I wasn't... Uh, I just gotta get to it. B minus. B minus. <laughs> 50 points from Gryffindor. It was challenges for their survival. Well, cannibalism would probably be a challenge. <laughs> yeah, they they had to get used to rationing out supplies and being attacked by the natives. And uh, being sick. <laughs> Cholera. Oh yeah, illnesses. Yeah. yeah. They it's... changed their leader a bunch of times because of deaths and uh, <laughs> people being unhealthy. Well, because everybody... Some question. That. Yeah. Can you get salmonella from eating a person? If that person probably. has salmonella, probably. I mean, I don't know. You All right. ask the cannibal. That, that silence... Really disturbing. I think I'm a cannibal now. <laughs> so moving right along, um, what other challenges did they have? Uh, well, like I said earlier, they drank uh, contaminated water. They drank the dirty water. Yeah. Uh, they were in uh, land that was new to them. They weren't used to the wilderness. Um, they probably didn't know how to grow anything there. Yeah, definitely didn't know how to grow anything, and. Uh, in the second story, they just stole from the uh, natives. Mm. And they were like, oh, we'll pay them back. So that happened. We'll pay them back <laughs> and then just completely annihilate them. I mean, yeah, they were all just unexperienced and uh, it was very, very tragic what happened. That sounds awful. It was. So, do you have something called societal values or customs? I do. Oh, okay. So that's something we can talk about. We both have that. Uh, what what you got for us? What are some societal customs? Uh, well, they they brought their uh, their alcohol with them. And food, um, which caused drinking and gluttony. Uh, there weren't any uh, taverns, but they they still managed to get uh, they still managed get drunk. to take the booze. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, they would wake up in the morning and have breakfast at five in the morning. Um, they very much tried to keep civilized like a civilized lifestyle, even though they, they were still living in the wilderness. Yeah, they tried to keep living the life that they had back 
before they wandered into the wilderness that was eventually the new world. Exactly. It's like a city boy going camping for the first time. <laughs> With all the strange wilderness noises there to keep him up at night. Exactly. Well, once again, um, my my boys, the Native Americans, they uh, they definitely were. They were definitely more spiritual and comfortable with where they were. Uh, they did a lot of rituals, uh, either during the day or during the night, whether they be singing and dancing or uh, other stuff. Um, they were constantly worshipping their gods and whatever. Um, but equally so, they had a very high value of their tribe and their fellow man. They they were very closely knit together, sort of... Well, I mean, it's a tribe, so that's a bit self-explanatory, but... I'd assume more so than the colonists who, you know, ate each other. Um, yeah. The difference between a country family and a city family. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Like, country families are all, are all always together, even if it's just friends, whereas cities typically... Yeah. It's uh all too, for yourself. Yeah, it's too fast paced, dog eat dog, blah blah blah. Um, but equally so, the indigenous indigenous um, <laughs> um <laughs> they had high care for their uh belongings as well. They treasured what they had and what they owned and took care of it to great extents, whereas I have the feeling the colonists are a lot like Americans nowadays, where they just are rather ravenous in their consumerism. Uh, consumerism. Hmm. I mean, at this point in history, they're constantly trying to take over new land and everything, as opposed to just being idle and content with what they're what they have. And just surviving that way, they're always looking for more. Yeah, it's very... Well, I mean, they ha they're in a new land. They... They want to see what's out there. Yeah. And I don't blame them. Adventure's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um... And... The indigenous people, at least from what I've researched, um... They're awful passive... Forgiveness is the way. Uh, they follow the way of the Jedi. They are peaceful. They are... They, they always wish to extend a hand of friendship, unlike colonists, who once again just sort of obliterate everything that they <laughs> go through <laughs> and then eat their friends. Exactly. Do I make you feel bad about being a colonist now? <laughs> Not at all. I am a firm believer in <laughs> the colonists. <laughs> in destroying everything around you and eating your friends. Exactly. Thank wow. you, very... you. I don't have any Being nutritional very... value. You've seen um... <laughs> I'm not filling. <laughs> There's nothing good here. Well, you, you never know. In time of need. In time of need, you're going to choke on a leg bone. Because that's all I have. <laughs> all I am is bones. <laughs> hey man, when the supplies are down and you need something, people's the way to go. <laughs> yeah. People's the way to go until I start just opening a firing squad on innocent, peaceful people that tried to give you food. Man, it feels great to be a Native American. Mmm. I love it. <laughs> um, so... Going off of just observations of the culture and added stuff, uh, once again, the indigenous are not really focused on tangible things. They're not really... like... They, they would perform more sentimental, spiritual things as opposed to the colonists who want land, 
money, things of power, people, alcohol, um, alcohol. Um, I'm really not gonna let you go off this, man. Um, <laughs> but they they seem to be that way. From the, from the one origin story, I don't know if it applies so much the to the uh, second one, but the world on the turtle's back. That story was surprisingly violent. Oh, yeah, that was weird. For what I thought would be peaceful people, there's a lot of death and bad stuff happening going on there. Like decapitating your grandma's head. Yeah, like drop kicking your pregnant wife out of the sky world. <laughs> yeah. Or coming out of your mom's armpit. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. All right. Well, now, well, okay. To be fair, what we're talking about is just mythology. It's hypotheticals. Your people actually ate their own. So. <laughs> yeah, they did. You're still worse. Well, than they us. did what they had to. I mean, I well, compared it to uh, kind of like, like the beginning of the uh, pandemic when people were going crazy for all the supplies at the store. It was kind of like that survival of the fittest. No one was eating each other, though. <laughs> <laughs> and mind tomato, you, tomato, the indigenous tomato. tribes would have said, okay, there's a pandemic, the stores are whatever, I'm just going, I'm going to live off of nature. Yeah, they I mean, grab their own the, food. Yeah, you should be like, you know what, I can, I can knit my own toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the good natives, we are. The Meanwhile, natives you're grow their own food. trying to eat your fat cousin because he's the <laughs> only one that you can catch. Well, the natives grow the food, and the colonists take the food that the yeah, natives grow. Yeah, you take it from the... Well, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, you take it from the indigenous tribes, and then when it's we the try to give you gifts and try Why to be put peaceful, in the effort? you know what you do? You call upon the power of your firearms and mow down, like, just... I'm getting way too passionate about this. And then you get mad when we shoot at you with bows and arrows. like You know, because you shot first. This isn't like some Han Solo Greedo argument. You literally walked in. In my blood. story, they attacked first. <laughs> of course audacity. you did. Of course you wrote it that way. <laughs> of course. We're a bunch of crap-eating hey, savages. John Smith wrote it that way. <laughs> yeah, of course he did. You want to know why? Because he's guilty. <laughs> That's why. Guilty. Exactly. Guilty. Nick, you'd be a perfect lawyer. <laughs> Thank you. This got really intense. <laughs> you went off on Nick. Just an innocent colonist trying to make my way. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't in say the that. New Do not. No. You're not fooling me there. <laughs> Once again, that's your cousin's thigh you just put in your mouth. When did this turn into a debate club? <laughs> yeah, this was gonna be an easy discussion, and it wound up becoming, like, a knockdown, drag-out fight. <laughs> well, it wasn't, it wasn't all cannibalism until, uh, until winter came. Until you and, needed and to. Because you couldn't yeah, figure out how to live by your own self. Because you needed to. Because you, you couldn't figure, figure out how to out. ration hard enough. Because you don't know how to corona. And we don't know how to manage You don't know supplies. anything besides shooting the people who were nice to you. Exactly. And that's the way to do it. <laughs> Shoot <laughs> first. <laughs> ask questions later. I thought we were friends. Now I'm afraid that I'm going to get filled full of buckshot and then eaten. <laughs> and then you're gonna burn my house down and build a freaking city over it with like 17 they just Starbucks them. 17 Which isn't Starbucks isn't any better yeah. I hope you like your KFC <laughs> I was gonna say KFC. a McDonald's across the street from the other McDonald's that's what you are gonna like your motor powered vehicles you and your combustion engines you have your horses. You know what we had? Legs. Horses. Oh, we legs ran. And, legs. and sometimes we had things called horses. Exactly. I mean, horses are the way to go. But No, because I mean, you're going to eat it. 
<laughs> they probably did. They probably no, did eat No, you definitely horse. did. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. You ate a horse, Nick. Horse is still a delicacy today. I'm guaranteed they did back You're then. not helping my case, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Another observation about the culture, before I put my fist to the screen. Um, <laughs> apparently, women's roles were like seen as more important and valuable and like somewhat equal um compared to how the colonists treated their women <laughs> yeah i'm just i'm going at you i'm going <laughs> at you hard i'm not letting you go you treated women like crap but the uh, indigenous people sort of had like a sense of equality among all the different types of people in their tribe uh, once again, I think it's just more of a spiritual tribal connection as opposed to more of a materialistic thing. Um, hmm. But, you know. Colonists. <laughs> Tell me how they treated women. <laughs> I want to well, hear I'm it sure. from your own face. Just, just, just how every, every other uh, person back then did. Except exactly. for the natives, of course. But, uh, Except for the natives. Uh, poorly. <laughs> yeah, you want to know why the natives didn't? Because you ate them all. <laughs> they didn't eat the natives. I don't think they no, ate the natives. They, I no, think no. they ate each other. Oh, oh, okay. It's okay when it's your and own that's people, better. but eating someone else, you know, that's fine. You know, when you run out of your own people, you're going to have to find somebody else to eat. Well... How do you know that the natives didn't eat people, too? Because that's not how tribes work. They weren't savages? We they weren't, weren't dumb? Yeah, they were actually a lot more civilized than you think. You the never know. They, there was different groups of natives. Some natives liked the colonists, some did not. Well, maybe because you shot us! No, they, no, they shot first. I read I'm it, not... and it's no. <laughs> they shot first. But you read a colonist story, and the colonist said that the natives shot first. Yeah, John Dude, Smith himself wrote why. down. You know what? George Lucas is a colonist. <laughs> George <laughs> Lucas is a colonist. Because apparently he we shot first. Because you have to look like the good guy. Oh, by the are. way, by the way, for our, for the indigenous tribes... Deviousness and evil are punished, so. Oh, okay. Your ten well, commandments that. apparently it's aren't broke. helping you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Do we even want to touch how like the colonists treated their kids? I y yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. We <laughs> love children. Children have their jobs and they do them well, and they respect them we respect them everything's great how did you treat your freaking kids nick <laughs> well um uh, uh, yeah they they were they were uh they had chores they they just worked oh so yours was solid child labor while we let our kids go out and, like so well, they would the learn wilderness? too they would have an education but they would they would work too i mean so, they were just coming to the land everyone had to work so the difference between them is the indigenous tribes had a family business and then the colonists had an amazon warehouse is that what you're telling me <laughs> yeah I, I would say so yep that's exactly what you're saying okay um once again passive oh Listen, You're... they're not proud of what they did, but they had to do what they had to do to survive. It's, it was either to make your children and women and uh, work and or eat annihilate people, an entire or race. die. And most did die. They came with a hundred people, and they did not come back with a hundred people. I'll tell you that. Yeah, because half of them were eaten. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think they ate them unless they were dead. Or they were, or something along those lines. I don't think they would better. Eat someone you, who like, is ate healthy. Alive. I didn't think you just like unhinged your jaw like a snake. That, and ate that a uh, brings the question: <laughs> Did they eat sick people, and did that make them sick? Okay, well now you're a cannibal and you're stupid, <laughs> <laughs> causing an everlasting cycle. That, and whose fault is that? <laughs> I guess that would be theirs. Uh, yup. Yeah.
They didn't know. They didn't have oh, modern yeah, medicine. They I didn't have, they uh, really have science. Comes. That is that is that is <laughs> Hold a on. similar what? But it wouldn't be common sense that you shouldn't eat something that's blistering. It has yeah. flavor. Forget about it. <laughs> apparently, it's, it's yeah. Apparently, it's muy spicy. Muy spicy. <laughs> but I guess that is. A hey, all I'm saying, the colonists did what they had to to survive in the new land. I'm gonna... That they they did a pretty good job for not knowing what yeah, they did. A pretty good job so far. Yeah, because they literally wiped out everything and just said, "I'm gonna build a Burger King." <laughs> <laughs> build a Burger King on an Indian burial ground. That's why. That's why we're so good at hauntings. I believe when I was younger, I read a story that um, the colonists had dug up a uh, a grave, and the <gasps> natives were not very happy about that. <laughs> yeah, <stop>. they got <laughs> they got angry. Yeah, because you were gonna probably eat it. They wouldn't eat. They don't know. They didn't. Can resort to cannibalism at first. It's a last resort type thing. It's not. Uh... And, uh, yeah, and who wrote that? Let me guess. The John White Smith. Well, it's just common sense. You don't start out with cannibalism. That's just poor management. Are you you, you sure gotta work your that? way to it. You have to work your way to it. Because apparently the winners write history. <laughs> well, you know, uh, that's the way the news goes. So here's. here. Well, first off, I guess a similarity between both uh, groups at the time were that, overall, they seemed relatively primitive in their own way. Like, they didn't really, like, gravitate towards science or, like, advancement or anything. They were still very spiritual people to their own ways and sort of rejected and or denied a lot of things that conflicted with those strong uh, base beliefs. I mean, they each had their own, like, set of rules, did they not? Yeah. So the natives had, like, rules against uh, being don't, evil. Don't mess up nature too much. Yeah, don't fight <laughs> no. nature. Or you're, no, so you're just gonna get poked by the finger of God. They did light. migrate, too. Yeah. Like, it was always a certain time of year, like, they planned it that they'd go up to somewhere warmer. They're like birds. Yeah. And technically, you go down to somewhere normal, warmer. Yeah. That's true. Because mm -hmm. going up means cold. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm sure they had their own laws, but that wasn't really something we read about. I mean, well, I mean, we had leaders. They had leaders that would uh, do things. I mean, by the third leader, um, third chief. it was just some guy who was building houses. So he had to still build houses, but also lead, like, the colony. So there was that. Sounds like quite a sob story. <laughs> a sob? That, I have you know, Jamestown is one of the most tragic cases of, uh, of survival. I've ever seen. <laughs> Tragic cases of survival. Alright. And um, finally, one more thing that we have is a uh, high respect for elders. Uh, the indigenous tribes definitely look towards um, the older generations for wisdom and whatever. In a lot of ways, very similarly to other ancient cultures such as, you know... The ancient Chinese and uh, the Asian cultures and that sort of stuff. How did how did the colonists um, receive to their old? Well, after reading both stories, to be honest, I didn't even think there was time to have elders. Um, yeah, so that's who they ate first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they would have brought elders. I mean, they didn't mention anything specifically, but um, I mean, oh, if I were moving that's out to a new they would have died bring... before they could get old. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bring. <laughs> I wouldn't bring older uh, Actually, people. Actually, yeah, to start a new land. Technically, 
before the colonists came over, the indigenous tribes, to some degree, had a lot longer of a lifespan than the colonists did. Have you seen a statistic that, like, the average colonist back then lived up to, like, roughly 40s? Whereas today yeah. it's, like, up to 80? Yeah, it's doubled. Well, because science and they put stuff in food and, you know, big strong Yeah. Boys. But, like, they wouldn't wouldn't have lived long enough to become old. Yeah. Technically, old would have been, like, 50 back then. Because, you know, diseases and doing stupid things like eating diseased and dead people. All right. I mean, yeah. yeah the, eating people isn't fun, but they had to do it. They had to do what they had to do. That was fun. I just can't take no pleasure in killing, but sometimes <laughs> you gotta do what you. Sometimes you just gotta do what's right for the family. I mean, the only thing I would say was uh, poor judgment on the colonists' half is that wow, really? they they brought alcohol and instead of you know maybe more food or water, some drinkable water, yeah, clean water, <sighs> things that are healthy. Meals for on you. wheels. No, they didn't have Grubhub back then, sweetheart. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, some dude looked at it at a, at another colonist and was like, mmm. <laughs> Maybe a better landing spot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Didn't they arrive on a beach? I guess They could have moved in, like, moved inward a bit. You know those, um, those, like, food delivery drones? <laughs> I wonder if, like, yeah. back then, like, it was just, like, a pigeon. <laughs> A pigeon with, like, a sandwich duct taped to its leg. <laughs> I mean, who knows? We don't even have, like, uh, confirmation and stuff like that. I mean, for all we know, there could be... There could have been food delivery. Actually, like, it wouldn't have been a sandwich. It would have been, like, a calf or something. A corn. S somebody's arm. A single ear of corn. Cool ear. It wouldn't be... They Okay, they... <laughs> <laughs> they, they wouldn't need to do that because Jamestown was very like small. You could, it wasn't that big. You didn't need. I don't to, hear uh, you denying that they ate some dude's ear. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm okay. Not they probably did. Trial, I'm, I'm just... not gonna deny it. They probably did do that, but that's <laughs> not. <where> it, <laughs> <laughs> we need to acknowledge how great their survival skills were for how unprepared and uh, unfortunate their situation with. <laughs> hear what you're saying, and I get it, but they still wiped out but an they entire still tribe. <laughs> annihilated an entire, not just a tribe, like almost an entire race. Yeah. It was... <laughs> well, I and mean, that's definitely gonna the natives them. did shoot at them first, so. Freaking George Native Lucas. Americans. Native <laughs> Americans were also willing to share the land. You guys were like, this is, God planned it for us, you know. Yeah, this is our remember. Land. Uh, they were entitled. Destiny. They were entitled people. They were coming from England and they were living the most posh life they possibly could. They were expecting the highest of highs, but they did not receive it. Yeah. So I mean, I'd be a little cranky if I was going to a new land we with gave you little gifts. food. Wait, we taught you how to so live you're... here, and then you went, you know what? Batter up. Mow them down. <laughs> they didn't have machine guns We gave you then. the tools. You guys just didn't use them. <laughs> I read that the natives had stolen some of their the colonists' tools while they were um, out doing things. Yeah, after you stole stuff from after... us. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Did you not hear anything about okay, peacefulness the, the, is the way? The the colonists might not have done some great things, but you have to give them some props for their survival. Only I mean, colonists I mean, deals on. in absolutes. <laughs> well, You're I, I mean, in my story, my the colonists aren't the Sith. Your denial are sickening. <laughs> Your denial is absolutely sickening. They have brought justice, freedom, power, and security <laughs> to their new empire. Our allegiance empire. is to the turtle. To democracy. 
I don't know why I, I specifically <laughs> named the turtle, but you know what? Is he you named the turtle? It's a turtle named the turtle? Yeah, I think it's just called the turtle. I don't think it has a name. Just, just the turtle. The turtle. Well, I'm pretty sure if it's growing the earth on its back, you're going to figure out which turtle it is real fast. You don't need a, you don't need a name at that point. You're pretty recognizable. The turtle. Well, I mean, the colonists, they didn't have anything but... Um, you had a their, bush. You had a bush that was on their, fire. <laughs> their, <laughs> their church. They had a church. Um, they built a church there. And they, Did they any priests religion. come over? I'd figure some priests came over. I believe so. I mean, why else would they Be build natural. a church? Yeah. Because that's the biggest reason why the colonists moved, is that they didn't want to follow one religion. Well, if that's the case, I don't know how many priests they brought over then. Because they would have all oh, been yes. still under their um, heavy religion. They probably would have like made someone priest then. They, they would have made a ceremony, poked them with you know, someone's severed, half-eaten leg and said, you're a priest now. <laughs> this on and go preach. <laughs> go go spread the faith to those savages over there. Look, he's giving you corn. Shoot him. I mean, <laughs> if it weren't for the natives being so hostile, then we wouldn't have had to build those what? uh those one spikes to keep us safe. What do you mean? They're being so hostile. Whoa. They shot first. They shot their arrows at the home. I read it said that they were that they were hostile and they didn't even do anything. Certain groups. <clears throat> I mean, the colonists did befriend um, John Smith. Did befriend uh, Pocahontas, and uh, he didn't the, befriend the her. He took her away to some. I'm not even. That was that was the other. No, that was the other dude. That was a different person. That wasn't John Smith. I'm still not gonna finish my. Well, song. she saved John Smith. <laughs> Sure. She did. Yeah. Disney uh, only got it like partially right. Disney never gets anything correct anyway. That's true. If they had but, uh, Walt Disney back in the day, that town. Then he would have definitely wiped out the indigenous. Because he was a racist anti Semite. And a Nazi. <laughs> what? Uh, Walt Disney was a Nazi. Or a Nazi supporter. Yeah, that's what that's what I just got done saying. Oh. So yeah, he My would bad. have definitely wiped out the indigenous. And made a theme park. A killer theme park. Aha, uh -huh, killer and... theme park. I see what you did there. You mean a camp. <laughs> I do not. That is not the Walt Disney way. I mean a Disneyland. On top of our dead bodies. Maybe a haunted mansion or two. The roller coaster rails would be made of our bones. <laughs> after you finish eating us. I mean, the colonists would have saved a lot of materials if they didn't have to build those wooden spikes to keep the but beings you, out. You, whoa. I mean, they probably if the natives were there or not, they probably still would have built it um, because of the animals, like the wolves and such. But We could have told you how to deal with those, <laughs> but, you know. Look, he's giving us gifts. Let's I mean, put a bullet care. in his head. Let's see if they bleed like we do. Tomato, tomato. Point is, colonists, <laughs> number one survival people. Bear grills times 100. Minus 20 uh, to incorporate the women and children. They didn't have to survive, really. I mean, they they all survived, but uh... yep. I, uh... <laughs> mm -mm. I woo. So I guess we kind of already handled our next question. Uh, how would the <laughs> differences in a uh, value cause conflict down the road? Well, we've been talking about that for probably twenty minutes. <laughs> in a very personalized heated way <laughs> but 
the colonists would have had a lot more kids. In yeah. general, or like no, like like in in general, um, the Native Americans didn't feel the need to for certain luxuries. They were spiritual people. Probably why child were... labor was more often. <laughs> they were. They no, no. They weren't physical people, so they wouldn't. Did they read the kids? The colonists. I'm just saying, like. <laughs> yeah, if they had the the proper like, I don't know, housing. Well, I guess housing wasn't a. If they had the proper uh, materials to survive, then yeah, they probably could have lived a long and successful life there. Look at you dodging the question. No, we were asking if you ate children, <laughs> and you're talking about luxury <laughs> housing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't think no, I don't think they ate children. Why would they eat children? That's horrendous to think about. Well, you shot a person who was giving you gifts, so I didn't think eating children I mean, was that what, far off. I, I mean, it's undocumented whether or not they ate children or not, so why don't we just keep it undocumented? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that sounds a lot like you white people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much of this is actually going to have to edit. <laughs> One bead of sweat just goes down Nick's forehead. <laughs> I'm... I am. I see a title of an article. <laughs> Jamestown Cannibals Evidence Suggests the Settlers they Ate Children During a Harsh Dude, Winter. No, wait, hold on. The colonists really are Anakin. <laughs> Not just the men, but the women and children, too. New skeletal evidence from Jamestown, <laughs> the oldest permanent English settlement in the Americas, indicates that during tough times, the inhabitants started eating each other. We figured the bones out what showed the... that a 14-year-old girl was one of the victims of the brutal practice known as survival cannibalism. And then the find was announced Wednesday, May 1st, at the Smithsonian National Museum. Child cannibals. I mean... I mean, like I said, I don't, I don't support what they did, but they had to do what they had to do. I mean, so you're basically I, supporting it. No, I'm not. I'm not saying go out and eat people if you don't have food. I'm saying that in tough times, it's. Uh, I mean, haven't you ever seen? Uh, you're literally saying. Oh, the what is that double standard ever? What is that book called? I forgot. Hold on. I'm not saying if you're. Lord of the Flies. I'm not saying if you're dis <laughs> I'm not saying if you're disadvantaged to go out and eat people, but they were heavily disadvantaged, so they had to eat people. That's a legit it was, what you're <laughs> Well, that's have they were, they were on a new land. They only had they couldn't go back because they would die um, by the time they were going back to uh, the double standard England, is so but, thick. But they did. They needed to do what they had to do. I don't. I, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but I'm saying that they had to do what they had to do. You colonists are real pretentious. <laughs> I'm glad that I talked to you because I feel like if I talked to anybody else, like this would have been. They would have put up a better argument. <laughs> no, they would have just hung up. Oh, they would have hung they up. Just okay. Left. <laughs> we wouldn't have a recording. Yeah, we just wouldn't have a project. It'd be two minutes. Yeah, it literally just be. So oh, I don't know. They how did. you ate babies? Click. <laughs> <laughs> this recording has been on for forty minutes. I can't believe we've argued that long. <laughs> it's actually close to forty-five I mean... for me. Yeah. I don't think. I don't. At the end of the day, we can all put put aside our our, our issues here, and uh, agree that. Things weren't done correctly, and uh, the natives are clearly better than uh, the colonists in this scenario. Some mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, but, I mean... I know, wish that you would have do. accepted our gifts and lived peacefully alongside of us, as opposed to destroying our race, putting us on reservations, and putting pipelines through our land... Well, I mean, uh, but, yeah. But, 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 <laughs> I forgive you. Thank you. And I understand 
your wrong point of view. <laughs> I mean, even I, I had nothing to do with the colonists, uh, 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 beliefs and uh, their uh, practices, but you know, the, the history you is the history. Test. You didn't have to be a colonist, but I took the test. test. Yes, I took the test. You took the test, and you wound up being on the wrong side. So. Well, I want to thank you for your time. This was a lot of I fun. Got, now I gotta look at the tests again. <laughs> this was this yeah. was this was really fun. I I really enjoyed this actually. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us. I mean, the first I took the test the first time and I got in the middle, <laughs> so I took it again. <laughs> you were like emailer if you got it in neutral. I you would give me like I a special assignment. Oh, a special assignment. Oh, I didn't know that. No, because then we wouldn't have this. <laughs> That's yeah, true. there were only two options on the thing. I mean, it's like they modern just day. Leave it's either out. this or that. I don't remember. It said it somewhere where if you got a five, you could go do something. I'm editing this part out. <laughs> okay. Good. Just shut up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what we made is beautiful. I'm not saying hey. it isn't. This is honestly this is the most fun I've had while doing an English project. You might also have to cut out the part where you mentioned Walt Disney as a Nazi. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I'm leaving everything in. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. Let's be real. What what's gonna happen? It's straight facts. Everyone knows it. Is it? Yeah. Yes. It if is. I, I'm gonna Google knowledge it. Knowledge Walt, that he's an I'm evil man. Walt Disney also didn't like people wearing mustaches in his theme park. Well, that that's like a sanitation thing. No, he didn't like it because he was supposed to be the only one wearing a mustache. Oh. Uh, that's kind of... Who's, like, beating oh, their face on their keyboard? That would be me, but it wasn't my face. It's my fingers. You know what that sounds like? What? That sounds like the indigenous tribes being murdered off by your kind. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what the guns sound like. Oh my god. <laughs> atrocious. I mean, I, could, is it, are we allowed to make fun of the the colonists and the natives at this point? It's It's been a, quite a while. Go I ahead. mean, we've been doing Go we've ahead. been doing it for the past 47 minutes. Make my day. That's what I'm, I will that's what I'm asking. You. I'm not I'm saying that you. I'm going to, but I'm saying that are we supposed to? <laughs> I will deliver the turtle. You just talked about the natives being mowed down. Because <laughs> they were. All right, riddle me this. How many natives have you met? None of them. They're dead. <laughs> we don't know that. Yeah, like, the rest of them, like, escaped to Mexico. They're not here no more. <laughs> or they're on reservations that are basically like the size of how you were going to say the price is right shut up so basically the colonists did make a make a camp <laughs> yeah and then oh my god even more so and this is more modern america than anything but they put pipelines and stuff through their land that start messing up their land for our purposes our purposes being well, white people's purposes i mean yeah dude. Yeah, we did. Yeah. That's what it's happened. It's unfortunate. Yep. Same. If I was listening to this recording, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I'm sure okay. that I'm going to have to... I'm pretty sure that we're all going to get emailed by our counselors asking if we're Probably. okay at home. <laughs> Some major cutting will have to happen before no, <laughs> before any. No, no, is, you're no. Not... <laughs> this is going to be absolutely unedited. Oh, jeez. Well, there goes my school career. They talk to her, be like, "Hey, that thing about white people." Like, hey, look, this was our natural conversation. <laughs> so yeah, that thing about like me hating white people—it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is the part where I, I step back so and bad. disassociate myself with the with the group well, here. No, if you listen back to the conversation, it makes it sound like I hate all white people. I mean, I yeah, you're not wrong. 
you didn't have to heavily imply. You could have just left that implying it. You didn't have to just to Listen, say it. Listen, you know I'm a very passionate person. I'm. You are a very age. passionate person. If 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 you eliminate an entire race of people, I feel like that's one of the things that like you should be called out for. Just saying. Well, it's not it's not us directly. It's it's no, our ancestors. No, it's not all of us, and it's definitely not modern people. It's the colonists, but the ones who started it all. Yeah, but we're not. I wonder about better. the lost colony of Roanoke. They're out there somewhere. You know what they didn't do? Build a town. <laughs> all right, listen. <laughs> <laughs> or do anything at all. <laughs> Listen. Because was, they went missing. I was gonna say eat people, but you know what? We could, oh, we could have joined the subterraneans. Are, are you sure about that? I don't think that's a plausible outcome in this scenario. In mythology, there are like. But by this point, we should make sure we did answer all the questions, right? <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. <clears throat> Yeah. What are the? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? <clears throat> yeah. What were similarities and differences between the values of uh, Native Americans and colonists? How do these differences of value cause conflict down the road? I feel Those like we make the very, very <laughs> thorough about uh, about those. Absolutely. About our answers. My dog. Sorry. I apologize. It sounds really sounds like, like well, it sounds like you're playing a soundboard on my end. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. It like sounds, it sounds like, like a really sound. fake dog. It's like, <laughs> like, burr. Sorry, I'm doing that's my dog. Right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, if we're done, I do it kinda have to go. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for helping me out on this this was a lot of fun no problem this is always sorry like for thank you for setting up the discord meeting, it's fine though. i'm not a colonist so nah <laughs> i'm actually surprisingly i'm not a native american ah i am irish <laughs> wow yeah, we we've been we're meant to be on the Greenlands. We not, are, yeah. You know, here. Well, I I don't know. The Irish have been through their stuff, but uh, we're not Native Americans at all. Well, I mean, I have a little bit in me, but not much. I technically do too, but so does everybody because stuff. Yeah, we're, we're all. No one's like purebred. We're all mutts. Bork, bork, and with that. I'm signing off. All right, see you guys. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.